Hello everyone, it's Ed Jones from Soil here. Just wanted to do a quick video today to show you how easy it is to make a variable rate nitrogen plant in my soil. So I've just logged into my account as usual here. I'm going to enter the nitrogen applications tool from the right hand side. I can select create to start a new plan. You'll be asked to choose your crop. So I'm going to go for my winter wheat here. I can either select my fields by clicking on them on the map or by selecting them from the list. You can also split down your fields by variety, so it's useful if you've got any later drill varieties that you want to treat differently. I'm going to move across into my task tab, give my task a name. And then I can choose either an LAI or an NDVI image. So at the moment we're uploading a new image every Friday. We've got an LAI image for winter wheat and winter barley. You use NDVI for your other crops. And then you can see I've got my map on the left here. So I move into my calculations tab, got a breakdown of all my fields. I can choose which model I like to use depending on what application I'm going with. I can add in my planned nitrogen rate and select a product. So I've got liquids and solids to choose from. If you're running liquid products this year, you can change your water dilution. So it's useful if you're adding products like Limus Clear or other things to your tank. You'll see from my legend here, my nitrogen application, I'm running from anything from 7 kilos of nitrogen up to 83, which is 21 kilos of product up to 253. So I can cap that nitrogen, maybe 35 at the lower end, 65 at the upper end. You'll see now my total litres that I need for this application is 12,896. If you've got ISO or scout regions, maybe you've mapped out areas of poor crop or waterlogged areas that haven't established. I can select those from here, insert them into my plan. You'll see I get this 2.4 hectares in the table, change that variable to fixed. I can change that rate to zero and then I know that I won't apply any nitrogen in that zone where I've got no crop. Then I save my plan. I can simply then export in a range of file types or directly to iSoil and I can also download the accompanying PDF file. 